Hi, I'm back with a new version for this project, uh, the version for bikes. In this version I decided to use only four LED strips, um, each with 10 LEDs, two in the back and two in the front. Um, but if you want more than 10 LEDs, you just put how many LEDs you want and don't forget to modify in the code. For the control I decided to use push buttons with a toggle function. So when you push once, the function, the function latches the, um, the new state. Uh, and the light remains on. This applies for the hazard lights, night lights uh, and night rider lights. For turn signals, the control remains the same, uh, but in the, in the code you have a custom variable uh, that you can change and this defines how many turn signals it will make with one push of a button. For the complete schematic, I decided to power this version up um, only from batteries. Uh, I used a step-down bar converter uh, and went with two 9 volts batteries, uh, so it can offer a decent battery life. Um, you can use up to three, uh, three 9 volts batteries or use a rechargeable batteries. Uh, that is up to you. But make sure to use an efficient uh, step-down bar converter um, for your desired input voltage um, because otherwise the converter will consume your batteries for no reason. In my case the step-down back converter is more efficient at higher input, volt input voltages so that's why I decided to go with 9 volts batteries. I did some measurements for the minimum current draw um, with no light on and for the maximum current draw with all, light, all LEDs white on. Everything in between those two states, um, it will be a dynamic current draw. Uh, and keep in mind that I'm using an Arduino Mega. Uh, but if you want to make this uh, project as smaller as possible, you should use an Arduino Nano. Uh, and the current draw will drop even more. So, here are the readings. At 9 volts, uh, we have a maximum uh, of 490 milliamps, a minimum of 100 milliamps. At 18 volts, we have a maximum of 250 milliamps and a minimum of 53 milliamps. And at 27 volts, we have a maximum of 180 milliamps and a minimum of 45 milliamps. By finding these values uh, and having the battery data sheet, uh, we can make an average for the current consum consumption and we can estimate that for 18 volts input uh, with two 9 volts Duracell batteries uh, we will have an average um, of 12 continuous working hours so don't forget your lights on. In normal use uh, the working hours can be even double uh, and an even better solution will be to use a step down step up converter because in this way you can use all the power in the batteries. Okay, so let's see the lights. To make them more visible, I decided to use as much as possible all the LED strips. For example, in daylight, I use all LED strips for turn lights and hazard lights. The same for, for the brake lights. And the same for the hazard lights. I did the same thing for the night lights in front and for the brake lights. Everybody likes the night rider lights, so I've com I've combined them with the use of night lights. For example, you have night lights and you can use also night rider lights, but the turn signal will always have priority. As well as the hazard lights. As in the previous version, details and download link 
are in the description. Uh, you can customize everything in the code, timings, colors, the patterns for tail lights, and everything is commented out, so it should be, should be very easy. I think this is the coolest version of them all, until now, um, but I want to hear your opinion, so let them in the comments below. Uh, and if you implement this project, please share with us your experience and your result. Next version will be a compact one with all the functions in one LED strip. Um, and if you have any ideas for future cool but useful project, don't hesitate to let them in the comments. Hope you like this project and if you did, please like, share and subscribe because that will help me in making more projects like this. Thanks.